Yes, I actually started in the military in 1977. I was came in from ROTC at Penn State. It was the second year they actually graduated women at the ROTC unit. Went to the signal officer's basic course, and from there I got an opportunity to go to jump school, which I did. Um, landed in the 35th Signal Brigade, which was an Airborne Corps unit at Fort Bragg. And from there, I actually went to the 82nd Airborne Division um, as the DISCOM platoon leader. And on the day I arrived, which was 15 June 1978, there were four of us, two enlisted and two officers that kind of broke the mold for the 82nd, so to speak, and we became the first women in the 82nd. From there, I went to the Signal Officers Advanced Course, then on to a follow-on assignment with the then 143rd Signal Battalion in Frankfurt, Germany. Uh, about this time, I had my first son. I decided while I was in Germany to go ahead and get out. My husband remained in. Picked up my civilian career again in Fort Irwin as a civilian personnelist, and continued on merrily with following my husband and being a DA civilian at various installations until about roughly 2000. I got a postcard saying, hey, can you do you want to come back into the Kansas National Guard? And I, my son was going to college. I reconsidered and thought, oh, why, well not. I, maybe, maybe I'll put in, maybe I'll do this again. Only to my surprise to be go ahead, pick back up for the Army Signal Corps in the Army, then the Army National Guard. I then switched over in the Army Reserve just in time to go to Kuwait, <laughs> it seems like. So I did two back-to-back -back deployments, but I was in Kuwait. I had one of my friends approach me. There were three of us that were captains and said, oh, did you know this happened? And in this case, it was one of the majors in the unit actually throwing a chair at one of the other captains. He said, hey, Holly, we really kind of wanted to know what to do. 